Loud and Proud fam. I'm about to bring you guys a video on the first and second gen coming side by side. I want to kind of go through the trucks basically and what truck would be a better first truck to buy. I've gotten so many questions over the past couple months. Dude, do a video on the best truck to buy. I'm a starter, I'm a beginner. What truck should I buy? What's better to go with? You know, the differences and ins and outs. And so basically, I'm gonna go through not a full, you know, first gen versus second gen stuff, because I've already did a video on that side by side. But what I wanna go through is basically, you know, what truck would be a better first truck? What's what's more practical for a first truck buyer? Not necessarily first truck um, just because uh, you know, from a from a perspective of do you have a family, do you have kids, you know, like, I'm just saying for a first diesel truck, which is a better truck to own, and this is a very tough one because they're both 12 valves, okay, but they're still different, okay, and so here's what we're going to do is we're going to go through, I'm going to give you a good look at our two trucks here, here's the first gen and the second gen side by side, this is a 1992, obviously, Dodge Cummins 12 valve with the overdrive transmission. It's got 85,000 miles on it. This truck is almost original. This thing is still a baby. It fires up like a dream. I freaking love this truck, okay? That hands down, if you're going to buy a truck and you just love something classic, cool, unique, special, one of a kind, I mean, not necessarily one of a kind. I mean, there's a lot of them out there, but like compared to what else you see driving around typically these days, this is this is a solid, respectable truck. OK, this truck here, there's a lot more of them around because this is when they just switched over to Chrysler, just switched over to this more aggressive body style. First class, I mean, back in the day, I mean, this was the, the truck. Um, it was the most aggressive, the most modern design at the time. Everything else was still square. OK, Ford, Chevy, Dodge was just coming out of the stage. Dodge is the first one to have, you know, rounded edges and stuff like that. I mean, it was it was a big deal. So, so these are both two very, very special trucks, okay? And now that days are getting on further, everybody's starting to realize how special this truck right here is and how desirable they are. And so prices are going through the roof. The demand is extremely high. And when people like me are making videos and, the, you know, there's other truck channels out here, prices are just going to keep on going up. So I do apologize for that. I just want to go through which truck would be a better truck to purchase. Coming from my perspective, am I a professional? Am I a diesel tech? No, I am not. I'm going to say that right now i'm not a professional i do not know everything i'm not you know some guru on diesels but i'm going to give you my personal preference and it's going to be a really really tough one on these two trucks for a first diesel truck to buy this is obviously my first diesel truck okay this is the first diesel truck i've purchased that white 73 over there my dad's first diesel truck that he ever purchased let me go give you a, a real quick glance at this truck 73 is loaded down right now Oh, the massive load on it, but it's got a got a bunch of um, galvanized gating on there. But this is my dad's first diesel truck, 2002 F350 7.3. I mean, these power strokes, the 7.3s are just they're animals. They're hard to kill, and they will go a long time. You're gonna almost 280,000 miles on this beast right here, and she's still going strong every single day. She always turns over and goes ready to work. It's just it's just been an amazing experience with that truck. So it was really tough for me to go with the Dodge if I'm being quite honest, just because of the fact that we've had such good luck with our Fords, okay? So what I'm gonna go through right now is I'm gonna kind of go side by side and just kind of be like, okay, you're getting your first diesel truck, okay? If you are getting your first diesel truck, let's say, um, if you're going for your first truck, you just want something cool, you have, maybe you have another car that's your, like your daily driver, but you just want something that's cool so you can work on it. Basically as a hobby truck, put some money into it. I mean, mine's used as a business right now, okay? This is what I use to make my living is this truck and making videos on it. I'm saying you, you're working in a garage, you just want to have a truck for our, the weekends just to work on, have a good time. This truck right here would be freaking hard to beat, okay? They're getting expensive, but you can still find good deals on them if you're willing to drive, if you're willing to really, really search, wait them out. Um, you can find these trucks for anywhere from, shoot, I mean, you can find them as cheap as three grand if they're in pretty rough shape, but you can get a truck for like just between three and $25,000. It really depends. I've seen them go for 30 grand, you know, down in Florida or in California and they're in mint shape. But, you know, that's probably not what you're looking for for a first diesel truck unless you got loads of cash, which if you've got loads of cash, you can do whatever you want. You can get a brand new diesel. But I'm saying for an older stuff, uh, for a very first truck, something that's probably going to be more budget, you know, friendly, this truck would be hard to beat. They're very simple. And let me tell you why. If you're wanting a first diesel truck to work on, okay, we're going to pop the hood here. I'm going to give you a real good uh, look at how simple this truck is underneath. And this is why these trucks, one of the reasons, there's a lot of reasons they just don't die, but there's a lot of reasons, but the reasons are so desirable. What do you see under here? Uh, not much. You see an engine block. You can see, oh, look, you can see the pavement down below. Um, these trucks are so easy to freaking work on, okay? This truck's easy to work on but not as easy as this truck, okay? This tr these trucks are so simple to work on. So if you're looking to you know, learn a truck, look at something you've never worked on before, but you wanna know how, you wanna slowly learn, 
seven three some guys are gonna say oh they're so easy to work on you know I mean if you grew up around Fords from the you know from age you know eight years old you've been working on them then yeah they're not that hard to figure out if you've been doing it um, you know but for somebody who's going going from you know basically not working on diesels to working on diesels every weekend just for fun this is a good truck to learn on there's not a lot of complex things you know that are really gonna stump you get you wandering you know cause you a lot of headache so that is why I would recommend this truck this you know configuration right here it's just hard to beat. it's very simple it keeps it very dumbed down okay there's not a lot of stuff in the way it's simple like you just look at this motor and you go okay if something broke I could fix it here's what I think it might be I mean just just looking at it you just feel that way okay for a project truck this would be the truck that I would go with okay if you're looking for a project truck this is and the reason I wouldn't say a daily driver you can I mean it's I mean it's no problem driving this truck daily if you want to I mean it's truck is a truck that's what they were for back in the day was for working and just you know just daily driving as a farm truck um, but they're just they're just they're just rougher they don't ride quite as smooth and I'm not saying this is some you know pavement princess or anything but this truck just does not ride smooth okay it's just I'm just being honest it's I love it I want to buy one I actually kind of want to buy this one off my dad but he doesn't know that yet um but you know this truck just drives it just drives rough okay steering very very loose now I'm not saying it's got a lot of play there's not a lot of play in this string because it's got a new steering box on it so like whenever the steering wheel turns the tires are turning but it's just a really loose steering wheel so you don't feel anything through it I mean it is just power steering at its finest back in the day I mean that thing just that steering will whip, whip around on you super easily if you're not careful and if you bump it um, unlike this truck is a little bit more feel to it so it's, a, it's not I mean, it's not hardest here but there's a little bit more you have to put into it so you can feel through the road you can feel what you're doing not like an Audi R8 or some sports car but you know what I'm saying it's just more than this okay I'm comparing these two this trucks just not an ideal daily driver okay it's not an ideal daily driver it's not an ideal family vehicle okay not saying either of these really are but I mean this is just no folding rear doors neither is mine but there's just it's just a bench with three and then there's two jump seats in the back okay so that is my rundown for the first gen if you're looking for a first diesel truck and you're more of just like looking at a hobby build go with this truck now let's say you're going for a little more daily driver a little more practical for daily driving it's a little smoother it's a little you know better in steering and all that other stuff this is a good truck okay these are solid trucks they're good looking trucks excellent looking truck these are great looking trucks there's freaking tons of mods you can do on these trucks okay tons of mods um there's i mean there's a lot you can do with any truck with this truck there's tons of options that you can do and they're just a little more practical for daily driving use and the reason i say that is a it's got cup holders i mean it's got you know more comfortable seats they're all obviously they're adjustable all that other stuff they can slide forward and back and they have you know lean your seat back and all that other good stuff you know your back seat you can fold this seat forward like this you got a back seat i mean until you go 98 plus these doors don't fold out so there's no you know third door or fourth you know four doors but you know it's just it's a little bit more family friendly let's say you do have you know two kids and they got to get in the back seat for a trip or whatever um, it's not that hard to do you've got some other features and stuff like that that are just nice in this truck the dash and everything it all just rides a little bit more like a modern vehicle now when I say modern I'm not talking Cadillac okay I'm talking like newer as in like you know early 2000s this is set up more like that style that truck is old school setup okay that is old school if you like a little bit when I say newer don't think I'm talking like new Cadillac I'm talking like newer style this would be early 2000s look okay not like the o3s and up you know stuff that had like a totally new style i mean they were a lot newer style. i'm just saying like compared to that truck these are the updated these are updated the more you know user friendly and stuff like that it's still the same configuration as pretty much all the trucks that you see today this is when they took a huge turn and everything made you know it was a little a totally different design i guess that is all i'm trying to say and this truck rides a lot smoother now i just got new shocks on it but th this truck just rides a lot smoother than the first gen and i'm pretty sure that's going to be a pretty standard thing you can put really good shocks on this thing this one's got bilsteins on it uh, but i mean they just they just ride more rough okay this truck still rides rough compared to the 7.3 and 7.3 still rides rough compared to the 6.0 i mean it's just they're totally different but i'm just comparing these two trucks here this one rides smoother this is a little more user friendly it's got some of those creature comfort features you know like cup holders and crap like that like i said and it's just it's set up more like 
newer trucks okay so that's just all i'm gonna say to that so basically what it comes down to is preference both trucks can be used for either purpose you can use this for a daily if you want you can use that for a daily if you want you can use this for project or that for project both trucks have a lot of features but you know that i like but they're just different okay that's my perspective on it this truck is just it's freaking mean i love it it's insanely cool but it is old school okay so you just have to know like if you want to daily drive this you have to be prepared for rough, I mean not rough steering, rough riding suspension for the most part. They're just rougher trucks, the way they're set up, the options that you have on them, they're just rough steering. It does not drive like smooth as, I mean, well it does, you know, steering wheel does go around smooth as butter, but um, it's not like a super responsive steering, you know, okay? It's super, super, super light. So it's almost like too light for my liking to be honest, but I mean, it's fine. But I do like how easy this truck is to work on. I do like the looks of it. I like the aggressive, uh, you know, setup and all that stuff. I just, I just like that about them. And I like this truck too, just because it's pretty much the same motor. It's just, this one's got the more desired fuel pump. I mean, it's similar, but it's different, okay? And so I, I like this truck. Okay, I just like this. I just like this truck more for a daily purpose, a daily built truck. It could go both ways, but that's my perspective on it. If you're going for a project build, I would go with this one. If you're going for a daily truck, I would go with this one. Okay, that's just how I look at it. You guys, I mean, everybody has their preference. Everybody has, a, you know, you know, differences and what they like out of either truck. But I've gotten so many questions on that topic, so I, I just thought I would answer it. Best first truck to buy. It just depends what you're going for. Like I said. If you're going for first project truck, great project truck. If you're going for first daily driver. If you like comfort features, some more comfort features when it comes to seats, you know, cup holders and stuff like that. This truck has some more of the newer stuff. Newer, just remember, newer, older, but newer than, you know, this, um, than most trucks of this time. You know, this truck, this truck would be the way to go between these two trucks. So that's just, that's just my preference on it. I mean, that's just what I would say. There's gonna be, everybody's gonna say different. I'm sure there's gonna be guys down in the comments, oh, that's terrible judgment. I would say the first gen for you know an everyday and second gen for a truck that sits in the garage and you work on, on the weekends. But that's just, this is just my response to it. This is just how I look at it. That's what I have to say about it. If you guys are wanting to join the family, please do hit that red subscribe button, turn it to subscribe, turn it gray. Leave a like on this video if you wanna see more content from me. I post every single day and the likes and comments really freaking help a ton. And it really shows that you guys care and you guys wanna see more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join the family if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video, peace. Doing what I love, going day to day But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting Sometimes I contemplate cause One day you feel so close and the next is out of sight But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night Like if I'm about to let it go now I can live alright Live a normal life, do a 9 to 5 But I know I'm more than that I gained this skill, wasn't born with that At the end of the life it's a memory